Tommy, we're into the final three games at the EBB Stadium and Solly Hall are coming this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, much the same as we go into any other game. It's the, it's the next one, so it's the most important. And I know people get bored of me saying that, <laughs> but it's the mantra that we've stuck to right through the, the campaign. Um, whenever we've had a, an, a result we didn't want, which is what we got last Saturday, we try to move on from it as quickly as we can, get fresh ideas into the lads' minds about the new opposition, but then concentrate on us towards the end of the week. So we haven't changed the way we've prepared. We give them utmost respect. Um, I think Andy's done a fantastic job. If there's anybody in the playoffs positions currently this season, I'd say it's us and them that were highly not favoured to be there. So I think the the pair of us as clubs are probably punching above where people thought we would have what we would have done, but we're there on merit both sides. It's going to be a very entertaining game, isn't it? It was only a 1-0 win for us at their place earlier in the season, but that was an end-to-end game and it was a very competitive one. So I guess we're expecting the same this weekend. Yeah, they've been very solid all the way through the season. I think they had a fantastic start. And when you get when you do that, you can you can build on it. And they've done that and they've had, they've, they've had a lot of setbacks in terms of personal injuries over the last couple of months, we've noticed, but they've, they've kept plugging along. So he's, a, he's got a good squad there. As we have, and we've we've got the same, but we, we tend not to try and shout and ball about the injuries that we get. We just get on and, and give somebody else an opportunity. So um, the way we're looking going into the game, we're, we're really pleased. We've got we've got a, a fit and agile group of group of players who are, are ready to, like I said, wipe last last week's result away. There are going to be some chances for some of the other lads. With obviously Kwame Thomas and Hajime Noga getting international call ups. I mean, it's a brilliant thing for the club, isn't it? And brilliant for the players, but maybe a little bit of a headache for you. But Yeah, a little bit, but we've had to put up with, certainly with uh, Hadji all season, that's about four or five times he's been away. Uh, and actually, if you look back, I never really pick him the week after he comes back because he's, there tends to be a bit of a, uh, a, whatever you want to call it, jet lag, you know, just a, a lethargy about him when he comes back. So... He'll be missing even the, the game after that because he's got a suspension at this moment in time. Kwame obviously will be a big miss. He's been really a positive thing for us near, every time he's been on the pitch, whether it be the start of the game or he comes off the bench. So, yeah, it was, certainly we miss them. They've been big parts of what we've done. But somebody else will get an opportunity. So, last week it was Kobe. This week it could be somebody else. We'll have to wait and see. And on the topic of international shots, Ollie Harfield played for England C this week. It was yeah. great to see him in the England kit representing the shots, wasn't it? Yeah, listen, we're all very proud of what Ollie's done for us this season. And for that to get the international recognition is brilliant. Brilliant for him, brilliant for the club. Um, and I hope it gives others in, the, in our squad um, the belief that they can push on to do things like that. Because I do think we've got three or four lads who must have been on the mind of, of Paul for that, for that squad. And there's obviously another one coming up towards the end of the season or after the end of the season. So uh, Ollie sure, I'm sure Ollie will be in the, in the forefront of his mind, but there are others I'm sure he'll be considering. Well, that's it, isn't it? You don't need to always motivate the players with things like that, but that should be good for them. Obviously, we've seen with all of our players, they've mm. had a good platform to show what they've done this season. And, and I think that's benefited them all and us, hasn't it? Yeah, well, on the whole, we've had a really positive you know, output in terms of games, results, performances, on, on the general, we've had an upward curve. So that brings attention from outside. Obviously, everybody knows what's happened with Josh. We know there's eyes on our players all the time. We have inquiries, we have offers, you know, things that will always stay in house, but they happen and they're dealt with between myself and people above me. So um, nothing changes there. We we just put our heads down, plough on into the next game, which as we speak, is Solihull and therefore it's the biggest game we've got.